Right, what's up guys? Today I've come back down to see the WRC Fiesta. Jason in the back there on his phone, loving life as usual. You know how we roll, Instagram at the bottom. Basically, what I'm about to show you is the, I'd say this is the mid, the mid of the build. This is, is this is at midpoint. It's come out of the spray booth, it's in primer. And basically, this is the car completely stripped down, I'd say, wouldn't it? Yeah. This is it at a certain point where stuff will start getting bolted onto it. You know, there's little blemishes that I think, you know, he still wants to go for it, yeah. doesn't he? Let's be honest. But would you say that this is the most ridiculous thing you've seen? <laughs> like, it looks so good in this This is going to be a takeover as well. Yeah, this is going to be a takeover. So if you don't know, I'll put all the links on the screen right now. Isle of Wight Ford Takeover is going down this year. May when is 20th. the date? May 20th. We are going to be unveiling this car, there. <laughs> We're going to be taking the Fiesta as well, my Fiesta, the red one, you know, body kits and all that sort of stuff. That should be a good laugh. It probably won't be done in time though. No. We don't worry about that sort of stuff. But let's start going through around this car, show the standard wheels are on it as well with the standard axles still on it and really get a sense as to how wide this car is going to be and sort of go through a couple of things with you guys especially, just to let you know what's coming up in future episodes of this yeah. episodes of jen's build of jen's build of jen's build because this is not my car a lot of people were a bit confused as yeah. to thinking this was my car let's have a quick look around it though with jason <laughs> Because I think this is a very good stage to show you guys fresh out of the paint booth. Well, not fresh, fresh out of the paint booth, but no. you know, it's had a good bit of drying time. It's sat here though for us to have a quick look around it. And the first thing I've got to point out is how much bigger these rear arches really are. This is obviously the standard wheel with the standard actual axle on it. Look how much wider this thing is. It's absolutely hilarious width to it it's gonna oh it's gonna look insane coming down on the the the, the actual door line here's all been done let's just show you how well it's done. yeah i mean let's just go into this how original, well original car and, and then, then that's modified panel and you yeah. would not know you wouldn't even know that that's been done so yeah that's that is fantastic work by terry honestly hands down the Rest best I've seen in, in with my own eyes is, yeah. is so good. The rest of the parts are in the booth today. Yeah, the rest of the stuff the, is uh, just down there. Together soon. Yeah, everything will be back on, but again, that's for another video. I just needed to capture this bit for you guys to show you raw. exactly, yeah, the raw state of what it looks like right now. It looks crazy, literally insane. It, it's, well, let's just go back to here. This, this bit is just sheer craziness. Obviously, you've got the front and that to go on, which will give it a bit more stupidity and depth at the front, I think. But this was a nice but point this. to show people, like, <coughs> look at where the wheels are yeah. in conjunction to where the car is now. Yeah, big time. And I want to go through and show you guys, like, the arch. This isn't the arch liner, I suppose. This is more of the no, this is structural, so structural this stuff just going the, through. Uh, five glass shape here. Yeah. Because this is solid. This is yeah. That's soft. actually a it's, solid, it's a solid panel. panel which reality is you want that to be solid, don't you? You yeah. do not want to be messing about with um, this flapping around when you're going down the road. No one needs that. The filler cap as well has been sort of really brought up is. and um, that's gonna be uh, handled by the other side of the build. Here he is. Terry comes in because what you've got to realize is the actual filler neck is quite a lot lower in this car. I think they're around here, yeah. would you say? So bringing that up is, you know, that's going to be hard work for someone else. <laughs> that's going to be hard work for someone else. Yeah. So what have you cut out of this car? Because obviously this isn't a bolt-on kit, let's be honest, no. mate. Let's go through what's actually been well, done. See the inner arch was further down, obviously. Yeah. So we've had to cut, do cuts like that. Yeah. And then bring it back up ah, round okay. to bring it further up. Yeah. And then we've panel bond, 2K panel bond on the inside. Yeah. Rivet plated along here as well. Yeah panel bond and riveted <laughs> um, and then we cut the panel here we made up a metal bracket here yeah and welded that there to flush that off right okay so bonded and welded yeah so you're structurally so really strong there yeah definitely everything structural on it um yeah 
and then obviously this has all got to be resealed yeah. to make it all look nice. Because at this stage you're just painting this and making just, sure the primer's on at yes, the moment, yeah. yeah. And you're still going to put another arch lining this in? Is, uh, yeah, there's still a, a lining to go in. We've got to make some arch yeah. line, inner linings. That. That's pretty cool. What have you cut out the back of it then? Because we were talking that the back bumper didn't actually fit on at all, did it? <laughs> like, no, at all. No. On, um, when, we had to, when we put the rear bumper on, it protruded the arches. Yeah. So we obviously we had to cut through the middle of the bumper and take a section a out. A section out, so, so make it go like that. <laughs> yeah. And then when we join in through the bumper, where the locating holes were, it's yeah. just a hole. Yeah, so, so that actually wasn't... Paint on, right. Put a rib nut in and one on this side. Yeah. So, so there's quite a lot of work just to get the mounting yeah, point on the yes. car. The remains completely detached for as well. Yeah, and yeah. yeah, so you can actually take this bumper yeah. off if we needs put be. Put rivet nuts inside here, so they're just normal bolt in. Yeah. So, take so it's off. easily able to come in yeah. and out, but you had yeah, to none, drill none in most of the. None of this was here, Jamie. The yeah. Yeah, we've, done that from yeah. Scratch. That's actually been built up. That's that's not come with the car, no, is no, it? No, that's no. actually been custom made to make that yeah. shape and you know force that part of the car out as well. Going up to the top there is another. Um, sort of hole as well, I think. Just yes, there. Again, yeah. This was for the locating of the top of the bumper. Yeah. Again, another old, thing. Yeah, that's the old one. It doesn't line and then up there's the new one. Okay. Again, they don't line up. So that's another custom fabrication you've had to do yes. to actually get that into yeah. the car. Um, another thing. Up. Yeah. This is obviously where the bumper is completely different. Higher up, I suppose. The exhaust will yeah, have to this, be. And the, the gap on the bumper was wider than yeah. here, so we've had to cut this bit further out because it did come just like in there that. like oh, that you would have seen it through the bumper yeah yeah so obviously definitely. we've cut that out not that's an easy one to be fair yeah it's just single but it's still something that but it's still something we to do. that was yeah that was going to happen yeah. so um something to note there that it's not a bolt-on kit whatsoever this is a completely custom job yeah which is great even cutting bits out for yeah not for the faint-hearted this kit at all um we were obviously i think went in a bit more with the whole idea that it was not necessarily going to be bolt on, I think, was it? But you knew that it was going to be custom work, but yeah. not as custom More as bolt, doing, the, yeah. The, when you think about it. Yeah. The same, basically, we've done exactly the same thing to this side. Just the same, the same sort of structural. The, obviously, the, you know, we bonded the bump the quarters on. Yeah, which is a which fantastic done, job. It looks really, it really good. Seam and smoothed it all in as if it's just normal yeah. seal section. Again, and it looks, and yeah, it looks so factory, though. Yes. That's the crazy thing. It's all you know like you would see in the factory this yeah. is how good these seam lines and stuff are so huge huge congrats to, to you doing an unbelievable job and james thompson as well gave me a good hand as well yeah legend this car is going to look insane when it's done i'm quite happy with this part of the build i think yeah. because the rawness of this part will show once it's you know actually painted and actually a yeah. you know yeah. a point in the bumper going on the wing going on all that other stuff it will show, show you how yeah we've got a black all of this out as well yeah we've bolt in putting rivet nuts to make the wings bolt on oh bolt so on and off, off. yeah that's good um, also this part here is you've fettled with that quite a lot i think yes, haven't you we have yet yeah. obviously we've drilled and riveted um rivet nuts so again this this part of the seal bolts on bolts off so you can get to the wing yeah to take that off so that's, that's good all. so that's another thing you had to sort of think about is that you can't blend that in with this part of the actual car no because you're going to have to take this you off can't aren't take you the wing off, yeah so. so that's another thing you had to think about well actually have to take that cap off yeah as per standard car yeah it's not like the whole car's written off no. like you would get in you know some 90s builds and 2000 builds it's the whole car was up, smoothed man. so you know if it did crash the front chances are the back and the front are just completely out and all cracked and stuff so reality is this is an unbolt yeah, finished no, product in a way so see the front end we done we had to lose the washer bottle yeah oh yeah let's go around and show that because you had to brace the front bumper and wing yeah we've got i think we've made brackets which come through here yeah which will go on to the, the actual bumper, front of the holds, car yeah holds it there. Um, and obviously this meant that the washer this bottle washer that was bottle, here and we had to cut off the bracket for holding that yeah a smaller universal one's going to be put back in ah, okay that's all right then so you're just tucking that up basically, yeah, basically if anything yeah, yeah you're not yeah. too much of the relocation where, the, where but it's wider a lot bigger you, than yeah that's it there. coming back inside of terry's shop though i want to show you the other parts that have been done that have been primed up this is the front bumper at the moment as it's situated fresh out of the uh out of the booth there looks really good there's a couple of bit 
you know, bits and bobs that Terry wants to go through, but the actual front bumper is quite happy. Again, as so are the arches. They came out really good. The end plates, but this is the bit I really need to show you guys. This bumper was cut in half. You have, may have seen from, you know, a couple of Instagram posts, there's a couple of bits that Terry wants to go through and it needs to flatten it back, but you can't actually tell that that's been in half. In my opinion, I, I can't tell whatsoever. Can you? I, I can't tell at all. So that's pretty insane bodywork and painting by Terry, definitely. You can't even tell that that's been split in half and put back together in a way like it's actually been cut in half as. <laughs> How, yeah, you could judge for yourselves, but my it's God. Gonna, it's gonna be a bit of takeover. Yeah. It's gonna be liveried up. The it's gonna be liveried up. Yet. No, we, we're not telling everyone the livery, are we? It's not gonna, this is obviously having a livery. I think it would be silly to just keep it white. But yeah, I'm excited to see the livery for one. Yeah, me too. Number two, for takeover, you all need to come. Vision Website design, at the bottom. Vision, design. Vision Designs are getting involved for the, uh, for the livery and stuff. This thing is gonna look insane. So bar a couple of bits and bobs, this car is pretty much ready for paint, for a little bit of, you know, fettling with the bodywork, but it is pretty much ready to be painted. The livery is set. I cannot wait to show you guys this car. If you did like the video, please subscribe below. Give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, check out fydapparel.com. Cop yourself some FYD merch to support the channel. These hats are actually on sale right now, 9.99. And we'll see you all on the next one. Cheers, guys.